Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Hayden B. Grilling. Now tonight we're going to be out here in the Hayden B. Grilling shack, thanks to Barton's, Build Better with Barton's. But we're going to be here in the shack today. It's my wife's birthday. She requested some good old-fashioned cheeseburgers. So we're going to be firing up the Blackstone. So let's get ready. All right, folks, we just got in the house. And so we're gonna prep our burgers. Now, I've let them sit out at room temperature for about 10, 15 minutes. And so that way they can really start to thaw out. But what we're gonna do, we're keeping this very simple tonight. I'm gonna take just a small dab, very small dab, barbecue sauce, put it on each patty, and that's gonna be our binder. All right, now that we got our binder on, we're gonna come in with our Granny Moore's gang steer. Now this is just salt, pepper, garlic for the most part. Uh, not much in this other than salt, pepper, and garlic. So we're gonna season our burger patties with this, and then we're gonna flip them open to the other side. All right, first thing we're gonna do is prep our blackstone. Squirt us a little bit of oil on here, and apparently I've got a leak. <laughs> and we'll take our spatula here and just kind of smear this oil around. Get it good on the where we're gonna be cooking at. I set my heats down to about a medium heat. Uh, with burgers, for whatever reason, these pre-made patties, they're a little bit thicker, right? And I seem to overcook the outside before I really get the inside cooked. So I'm gonna try turning my heat down just a little bit here, see if that helps us out. All right, folks, I think we're getting close to being ready. We'll go ahead and throw these burgers on here. Let them start cooking. I'm hearing the sizzle. So when I think of an old fashioned burger, I think of the city drug in Monticello, the town I grew up in. Folks, you can go in there today and get a burger and I guarantee it tastes the exact same way it did 35 years ago. Very good burgers. And so that's what I've got in my mind and that's what I'm gonna try to replicate tonight. That's why we went with the Blackstone versus the gas grill or the charcoal. So do y'all have a place like that back home or where you live, that the burgers are just good old, old fashioned burger. All right, folks, so I thought my recorder was on. It was not, I do apologize. We just flipped them after probably about five minutes on that side and they've got a good color going. So we're gonna let them ride about another five minutes. All right, folks, so we pretty well got our patties done. We're gonna lay a, a slice of cheese on each one and it starts to melt onto the patty. While that's starting to melt, I'm gonna take my bun I'm just gonna set it down here on the blackstone, let that bun start to toast up a little bit. All right, folks, we got our burgers. <laughs> I accidentally kind of had a whoopsie on that one there, but we got some toasted buns. It's time to get inside and make us a burger now. All right, folks, so here's our bun. We already got us some Miracle Whip spread onto the bun. Now we're gonna come over the top with some ketchup. There we go. Now we're going to fight this bottle of mustard and we're going to put some mustard on it. Good old fashioned burger. Now we're going to lay our burger patty on here. All right, in keeping with this old fashioned burger, I got me some lettuce on here. Now I'm going to add me a little bit of onion. Now this is raw onion. Did not saute it, did not cook it in any way. This burger is just like the burger from the old drugstore. There we go. Add just a little bit more. And voila. Put the top on it. Let me let me spread this ketchup out a little bit. And there we go. Now we got the top on it. Mash it down a little bit. Now time for that all important taste test. Mmm. -mm. Hey folks, real quick, do the wrap up real quick. Uh, very good burger, very good flavor. I mean, just a good old fashioned burger, right? Cheese, onion, lettuce, the condiments. I mean, just nothing fancy about it, but dang good. So y'all please let me know if you think the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Oh, and one last thing. If y'all don't have a Blackstone, that's fine. Y'all can make this right there on a cast iron skillet in the house. So now we'll wrap it up. So y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.